I want to make one thing clear first that the matter I'm going to discuss is only for countries that is hot. <laughs> I'm in Malaysia. We we are hot all year round. You are always sweating 24 hours per day. Even when you're sleeping, you are sweating. It's hot. So this temperature temperature control for us is not is irrelevant. So if you do not live in a four season country, that please you can follow this uh, step. If example you live in Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, that what I'm sharing is a good idea for you to think. You can save a lot of money and trouble if you just if you follow this. It's an old car. <laughs> That's all, and uh, and the parts are expensive. So we do what we have, uh, with what we have. Before doing this, put a towel or something here because you'll be resting your knees here. So it's going to hurt. The first thing you should do when your aircon is blowing hot air is to switch off. Do not play with the temperature. Switch it off. It means that the motor is actually already faulty. It's going to fail. If you reset it once, reset it twice, it's going to fail. Just switch it off. <clears throat> if you're lucky, if you switch it off, you reset it back, you can get the temperature down. So, switch it off first. <clears throat> no more air conditioning. Next. This is a temporary solution to save your uh, your flap. The mix <coughs> air mixture flap. This is a cover here. First thing what you need to do is... Let me get it. You can see, eh? Okay. This flap, uh, this cover here, you just break it off. Just pull it off. Next, there is a bolt here. Remove this because there is also another cover here. See this? Okay. Is something like this you remove that bolt there and then you push it to the back and then you pull it down and then put it at the back here you are going to access your servo motor down here okay the servo motor will be such as so this is the connector here be facing the right side there What you need to do is the connector. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna connect it again, but basically the connector, the, this connector, will be facing like this. Okay. What you need to do is you need to press the part there, the clip part, and then just slowly pry it open, push it out. Well, it's like this. It's in here. This is a tight space. So you push it, then you push the connector out. <coughs> this is to save this. Oh, you understand? Eh? You are trying to save your flap from breaking. When I was playing with the temperature of my car, what I realized was when I increased the when I increase the temperature, this thing was spinning. So the left is going to the left is uh, going hotter. Eh? Okay, it was going like this. Huh? See this? Okay, it was spinning like this. When I put it all the way hot, it was it spin all the way to the hot air. And then when I put it on low temperature, it did not spin all the way back. You see? Let's say it was from here, it spin here. And then when I put it cold, it only spent just a bit. It didn't go back to the original spot here. What happened? And then after that, when I increase the temperature again, it went down more. You understand? 
So this thing that cannot turn 360 degrees, this flat, you can only turn it like this and it's going to stop and then you can turn it back and then it's going to stop on the other side because there is a limit of, of how much it can, you can turn, it will turn it. So when it keeps going in that direction, in that motion, it goes like this, hot, cold a bit and it keeps going, going and going and going and going. So it's going to turn a 360 degrees that will break that flap because that flap has already uh, reached its maximum. So that is why I I am telling you guys to the first thing you should do if a hot air happens is to remove that connector because it will save you a lot of trouble. You can change this after. You do not want to break that flap because if you break, if that flap is broken, there is no way around it. You have to remove this dashboard to get access inside. And that is a lot of trouble. <coughs> going forward for those that do not have this servo motor problem what you need to do is uh, go under uh, park your car somewhere hot outside do not have any roof over your car turn your temperature to the lowest point the LO and then so the purpose is we want the the motor to close the hot air circulation so no hot air is going to be pulled in so let it close 100% after that in this condition do not turn off the car yet okay, as I showed before get a small screwdriver just remove the connector from the servo motor what is up there and then after that, just leave it there, just forget about it. We are in a hot country. So basically, everyone have given a suggestion that we do not need yeah, the temperature control. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> I think it's a good idea. Yeah, the motor is also expensive. After that, you just turn your conditioning to auto. Okay. Just try to imagine. And then, let the car, the condition, air conditioning, control your temperature using just the blower. So, when it's too hot, the blower will go faster, will go stronger. When it's too cold, the blower will go to number one. This uh, solution will settle your problem of the hot air, number one. Number two, you do not <coughs> need to think about the flap <coughs> anymore. And your car is always cold, so there is no more mixture of hot and cold air. You can always do it manually, but it's not necessary. Let's see. Let's see. That the flap is broken. The next solution is to bypass the coolant so the what you call it the hot core or something uh, doesn't no coolant will travel through the hot core so no hot air will be pulled from the hot coolant uh, that is a solution if if your flat is broken that's the second solution uh, okay i hope this helps uh, to those that do not have this problem i would suggest to the first step in my opinion, everyone will face this issue because it is a motor that will just fail after many years like the water pump, you know, it's a wet and test stuff and it's, it's also quite expensive. Thank you for watching and I hope this can help others to save money and also the trouble. Thank you. Bye.